How can I measure the workplace climate? A bad workplace climate can have serious consequences on your employees' work performance. In such a condition, employees feel irritated, unhappy, and uncomfortable in their workspace. This leads to a decline in work performance. It may also lead to an increase in work-related absenteeism. It also reduces productivity as employees feel low morale and undervalued. In the long term, a bad workplace climate can lead to an employee exodus. Our co-founder, Alex, is also a partner in the Hagen Daz stores all over Mexico, and they used to have over 70% employee turnover every single year. At a cost of around $1,900 to replace, retrain, and retain each new person. You can imagine how important it was for him to address this issue head on. The first thing was to measure the workplace climate. There are many metrics to measure workplace climate, and some of them are happiness. The most direct way to measure workplace happiness is to ask employees, how happy are you at work? If they're unhappy, then read on to see if your workplace has any of the following. Lack of job satisfaction. This can be measured by an employee's belief that their work has little or no impact on the organization. Stress. You can determine the level of stress your employees are experiencing by asking whether they feel overworked. Unfriendly work environment, measured by the employee's perception of the friendliness of the work environment. Innovation. To measure innovation, you can ask employees whether they would be willing to change their job in the next six months. Engagement, which is usually measured by asking employees to report their level of interest in their work. Retention. The best way to measure retention is to look at the turnover rate. Corporate culture. Finally, the best metric to measure your corporate culture is to look at the cohesion levels of your employees. If you'd like to discuss ways in which we can help your company improve its climate, please get in touch with us at info at